What's up guys, it's Mike here and in this video, I'm gonna be clearing up any confusion you might have around custom affinity, custom intent, custom audiences for your YouTube ads. I'll also be going over when you should be using these audiences, what they are, what they do, and how to set them up. So the first thing I want to cover is if you've heard of custom intent before or custom affinity audiences, these no longer exist. Recently, Google took their custom affinity and their custom intent options, and they rolled these two together into one option that is just called a custom audience. So custom intent, custom affinity, they no longer exist. They are now just custom audiences. So let me show you exactly where to find these in your ads manager. All right, so if you're in your Google ads account, you're gonna wanna go to tools and settings and then hit this audience manager button and then make sure you select custom audiences and hit this plus button. And this is where we get to the custom audience section. So there's two main options that we have in here. We can either target people with any of these interests or purchase intentions or people who search for any of these terms on Google. So I do a lot in the online course space. So for this example, let's say we are selling a course on drop shipping, right? Something that's been pretty hot over the over the past year or two. So if I'm looking to sell a course on drop shipping, what I can do is I can come in here and make a custom audience based on people who are interested in purchasing a drop shipping course. And so what this does is Google goes out and they find this audience, this group of people who they think are interested or have purchase intentions for a drop shipping course. Now I can go ahead and fill this up with other options too, right? If I type in drop shipping course, um, all these options come up. Shopify drop shipping course, drop shipping online course, drop shipping full course. So I can go in here and select a, a few of these. And Google will go out here and find this audience of people who they think are interested in purchasing these things. Now the other option I can select here is people who search for any of these terms on Google. So with this top one, this is just a group of people who Google thinks is interested in purchasing these, right? They have some data points. They, they're kind of unclear with exactly how they are getting this data and what this audience is made of, but they think that these people are interested in purchasing. However, this bottom one, they find an audience of people who have searched these terms or terms similar to these. So what we'll notice is this second option is often smaller, often more targeted. So yeah, we'll see this drop down to 50 million impressions, whereas the top one was about a billion impressions. So there's the differences between those two. And this is super, super powerful for us because now we can target people who are in our market who are actively searching for these specific keywords. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean they typed in these words exactly. If you hit this question mark button, Google does say that they reach people who search for these terms and similar terms. So they could be other terms that are pretty close to these, but on the same keyword, on the same topic. Now, a couple other options that we can do in the custom audience. We can also target people based off of the websites that they browse. Another super powerful option. So let's say again, I'm selling this drop shipping course. What I can do is I can go in and I can look for some of my competitors. So if I go to Google and I just type in drop shipping course, and I'll scroll down. Let me try to find a drop shipping course. I was clicking through some of these earlier. All right, so let's, let's go with this first one right here. Dropship lifestyle. Click here and I will get their website. I just want to take this root, the root domain right here, copy it and paste it over here. People who search, people who browse types of websites, paste that in here. So now Google is going to give me this audience of people who visit websites similar to this. Another one that is super powerful. So anyone who is on a website that is selling a dropshipping course or anything that Google deems to be similar to this. I can put my ads right in front of. So, so, so powerful for really any business out there. If you just get your competitors' websites and pop them in here, 
doesn't necessarily mean that you'll only be targeting your competitor's traffic, but you can target their traffic and people who are visiting similar websites. Awesome targeting strategy to use here. We can do the same thing with apps or people who visit certain places. Um, these two, I think, are a little bit more limited. It really depends on your product. But for this one, for example, um, you know, look, someone looking for a, a drop shipping course, maybe I would use something like the Shopify app. Um, that could be a good one to use in here. And then with people who visited these places, I don't really have a great one for an online course, but you can play around. What I like to do is kind of just type letters and see what options really pop up in here. I don't think there are too many options. Business, it's not a bad one. Not a ton of options with this one. I don't use this one quite as much. I think the other options are the most powerful. These three are the three ones that I really leverage the most. So if you haven't used custom audiences yet, I would definitely recommend playing around with these, going in, entering some search terms here and seeing if you can increase your YouTube ads performance by using some of these audiences. Hope you guys got a ton of value from that and I was able to clear up any confusion you had around custom intent, custom affinity and custom audiences. If you liked the video, drop me a like, hit the subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.